Good blessings, good blessings, my brothers and sisters in this truth. All praises to the Most High, through our Savior's name. Let's get our swords out the mud, brothers and sisters. We must lean on nothing but the Most High. We must not lean on man, which is leaning on our own understanding. We must not observe the flesh, which is our own understanding. We must not worship man, the beast system, the new world order. We must not partake. We must separate, brothers and sisters. There is going to be a separation, brothers and sisters. You will have to choose. See, the world is going to present to you life or death. But the world cannot present to you life, brothers and sisters. The only thing the world that can present to you is death. Comprehend that the world cannot present life by any form. So do not be deceived by thinking what they what they tell you. Get the get this, get that, so you can buy, sell. No, do not be deceived. Do not be deceived. Because the world cannot offer life. The world offers death. Brothers and sisters. But they're decorated in life. And how they decorate it in life is, hey, get get this uh serve you uh serve man. Pledge allegiance to the flag. Go against the most high. Do what you want to do. Or it's Taking a microchip. Check this out. Or in or the identification chip, whatever you want to call it. We do not take those things. That is death. So, brothers and sisters, scripture says. You try to save your life, you will surely lose it. Don't try to save your life for this world because you're going to lose it. But if you choose our Savior, if you choose the Most High, brothers and sisters, you will have life. You will have life. If you lose your life, which is if you die for righteousness, which is dying for the most, dying for what you stand for, what you believe in, then you will not die. For our Savior said you will have life. But if you try to take the chip, if you try to, if you, if, 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 if you try to brown nose the, 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 the system. Of the beast. Serve the beast. Then you will perish with the beast. System. Brothers and sisters. So we must comprehend that it is, it is physical and spiritual. Brothers and sisters, we must know. We must know, brothers and sisters, that the world is going to decorate. The world is going to deceive you. The world is subtle. Very cunning. So you can't lean on your understanding to comprehend the world spirit. You will be deceived. Huh? So brothers and sisters, we must serve the most high. Brothers and sisters, it is time right now. Remember Lot's wife. Don't look back. The world has nothing for you. Nothing. 
but death and destruction. My brothers and sisters, let's get back to this read. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score six. For it is num for it is the number of a man. Man, brothers and sisters. The beast system ushered in. The new world order. The glorification of man, honoring yourself, the 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 flesh, the, the glorification of honoring the flesh. That is the beast spirit. That is the beast spirit. Let's get into uh, Exodus. Chapter 20. Exodus chapter 20. Thirteen verse nine, yes. Exodus chapter thirteen, verse nine through ten. It's Exodus chapter thirteen, verse nine through ten. And it shall be for a sign unto thee upon thy hand, and for a memorial between thine eyes, that the Most High's law may be in thy mouth, for with a strong hand hath the Most High brought thee out of Egypt. Thou shalt therefore keep this ordinance in his season from year to year. And it shall be for a sign unto thee upon thy hand and for a, a memorial between thine eyes. Now remember, it's spiritual. Just like the mark of the beast. He's got his mark of the beast, which is a physical and a spiritual mark. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Our Father, It shall be a sign unto thee upon thine hand and for a, memo a memorial between thine eyes. So that's you got your hand and the memorial between your eyes is your mind. So so you seal. That's the seal. See, the mark of the beast has its seal. The mark of the beast has its seal. The Most High has his seal that he puts on his children. It's spiritual, brothers and sisters. Is the Most High passing out microchips? So, the Most High is passing out microchips. No. The Most High is talking in the spiritual form. And it shall be a sign unto thee upon thine hand. So your actions, whatever you do. And for a memorial. Between thine eyes, meaning a is your mind. A it's in your mind. So the most high has put that seal in your mind and on your hand. So therefore. The spirit. Is in your mind and therefore. Your works will be of the most high. Because see, scripture says that it will come that your own family members will turn you in. They will turn you in just like Judas did our savior. Huh? 
So, likewise, as in this day, there will be family members that will turn you in because you don't have the mark of the beast. Just like how I was in Sodom and Gomorrah when 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 the, when the when the city came out amongst Lot's household with the angels there. You see, they 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 was coming for him, huh? And yes, it was it was it was it was very sick. But all I'm just trying to. Comp is is uh, express. All I'm trying to express is the fact that, as we see in Scripture, that um, when the wicked spirit, when the wicked spirit senses its end, huh? Because remember, Solomon Gomorrah is going to be destroyed. So when that when when that when the, when the angels were in Sodom, right? That wickedness was strong, and they couldn't comprehend. They couldn't comprehend that destruction was right there. They didn't take heed. They had no spiritual discernment of the Most High, or they would have known what was before them. Just like Lot recognized the spirit. Real recognize real. But see what that that's what the wicked does. It wants to contaminate. Brothers and sisters. So. Just like in the days of Noah. When Noah was building that ark. Right. No, it was building that ark. Wickedness just continued to go on. So, wickedness will continue to go on and will rise, brothers and sisters, in, 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 before the Most High's judgment. So, we must comprehend that we that this is all spiritual, brothers and sisters. This is all spiritual. And taking the mark, taking the taking the microchip is still spiritual. Because you chose you've chosen to serve man you've chosen to serve the worldly spirit you've chosen for man to provide for you because scripture tells us we should not put anything in our body that is not designed by the most high We do not be need, we do not need to be accepted by man. We do not need to be accepted by the world. The world does not benefit at you at all. It is a deception. Lure you in. So therefore, you lure it in, lure it in, lure it in. Now you so close. You so close to being eaten by the predator, right? The fact that now. You got those 
lured so far in that they don't mind being eaten by the predator. They don't mind being eaten by the predator, brothers and sisters. The predator is the world. Now, the world's going to pass out its invites, as it's been doing. But now the world is going to make it a little, is, 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 is a little more picky. Now the world only wants those that are down with the world. That's it. The world only wants those that are down with the world, just like the most high. The most high only wants those that are down with the most high. And that is where we're at, brothers and sisters. We must separate from the world. Some of us are too lured in and don't be in mind and don't mind being eaten by the predator. Because for so long, so long. We've been deceived into being prey. Huh? We've been deceived into being prey. And the fact that we have no power. Only power that we have is the power of ourselves to believe in man. So therefore we have no power. So we have been deceived. We have been tricked. You no, know, Neo, like like the, the, the common analogy, Neo didn't have no power. He was asleep in the movie Matrix. Not until Neo started to comprehend who he was and what his purpose was did he become what? Powerful. So brothers and sisters, likewise us, children of the Most High, we are sleep. We are Neos. We are all. We are all Neos. Sleep. Brothers and sisters. And we're going to stay asleep. If we serve this matrix. If we serve the world. Constantly watching the, the lady in the red dress. Pleasing the flesh. Right. We must separate from the world, come out of the matrix. So therefore we will have submission and power of the most high. We will have protection. Brothers and sisters. And one thing, Neo, once he believed even, even when once his belief was so strong, he started seeing stuff slow. See, that's how the most high wants you to be patient. Be, see, the world wants you to be fast so you can be deceived. Stuff's moving too fast, right? But once you start seeing you in your zone, it's nothing to you. It's in slow motion. You see it coming because the most high, you're close to the most high. That discernment is strong. Now, I'm not saying you hey, you ain't going to be flexible like Neo doing all that movie stuff. But you can dodge bullets, brothers and sisters. Not you. But the power of the most high will make sure those bullets. Will make sure those bullets ain't going to touch nothing. Ain't going to touch nothing of his. Comprehend. Let's get into one more, brothers and sisters. Let's get into one more. We in 
Deuteronomy. Chapter 6, verse 8. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 8. And this is just, we just sharpen our swords, brothers and sisters, and we need this comprehension on on, um, on the spiritual mark and the fleshly mark. Okay? It, 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 it's all in the one. It's all in the one, brothers and sisters. But at the end of the day, it's spiritual. It all draws back to spiritual. If you take a microchip, then you have then you have went against the most high. Brothers and sisters. You have put in something in your you have given control over to the beast over your body. Comprehend. Just like worshiping something, a spiritual form of an aspect. You given over to it. Obama put uh Ordered a whole bunch, made a made a whole bunch of guillotine when when he was in office, and everybody was talking about it was a rumor, it was fake news. No, it wasn't. According to scripture, there will you will be beheaded. So it, during that time, it's in twenty. When was Obama running? Twenty from uh, two thousand eight to two thousand sixteen, right? And y'all talking about guillotines, Obama making guillotines in his times. That doesn't make so it has to be by prophecy. That's why Obama made the guillotines for heads to be chopped off, according to the scripture. It is not a game. It is not a game. Let's get into this read. We got Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 6 through 8. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. And shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house. And when, thine, and when thou walkest by the way. And when thou liest down. And when thou risest up, and thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand, and they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes. So once again, brothers and sisters, the Most High puts his seal upon thine hand. And they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes. Something between your eyes is, is your mind. Your spirit. Okay. So yes, brothers and sisters. We'll run that back. And these words which I commanded thee this day shall be in thine heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thine children. And, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up, verse 8, and thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand, and, thy, and they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes. So yes, brothers and sisters, the Most High puts his seal in your mind and in your hand, brothers and sisters. So does, so does the mark of the beast. Imitates life. It means it's not the real thing. It's a carbon copy. To deceive you. Subtle. So. Any device. The world. Uses. Satan uses. We must. 
we must comprehend that it is, it is a worldly device. Therefore, it is an enemy of the Most High. Don't let the world take advantage of you. By you submit, submissing, submitting your body to the world by inputting a chip or serving the world. Brothers and sisters, come from the world, separate from the world. The world is deception and death and will be destroyed. Brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, I love you. Y'all stay prayerful and keep your lamps filled with light.